Hi there Leo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for August 10th to the 16th. Leo, let's see what's literally on the cards for you, beginning with the Work Your Light Oracle cards. Seeing what the overarching theme or message may be. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. It's kind of a lot of what's going on at the moment guys like a big shake up and just releasing maybe ancestral patterns maybe the patterns that have been passed down through you know your parents through their parents and things like that they can be you know we we inherit those so it's saying maybe you're going through a time where you are you are healing something in that line like you are breaking the cycle breaking the chain there is another uh, oracle card that's a little similar to that in this deck Let's go to the yogic path. We have got Brahma. Now, Brahma is the god of creation. And so it's really saying here that, you know, maybe there is something that you are trying to get off the ground, you know, very much the energy of the Empress here. It's like whatever you are desiring, maybe it's time to get that into creation. Maybe you've cleared the space by, you know, releasing yourself from something that's been holding you back. Now Brahma wants to create with you. It's the force that, that creates, created the universe. You know, maybe it's time to, to tune into that life force energy and, you know, really start manifesting this week. Let's go to the tarot now, Leo. Get out the rest of the story. So pulling first your energy for the recent past. What may be leaving, completing or transitioning in your life. What you are journeying. There it goes. Ooh. Talking about creating things, guys. Ace of Wands. Can't think of a better card than the Empress and maybe the Ace of Wands for having that, you know, inspired action to get something off the ground. Can be passion as well. We'll see what way this falls. So Leo, getting the energy out for your current focus this week. Hierophant, yeah. I mean, here's the tradition. Here's the traditional values that you might be breaking away from. Ending this cycle. I think you're going in your own direction. Let's get the near future outcome energy out, Leo. Or a peak of the <laughs> oh guys I'm gonna take it because it's flipped but you know what it is dun, dun, dun. Empress I saw the page of cups as well but I'm gonna take the Empress with the five of wands behind it because yeah I think you are gonna be in creation mode there could be some in a conflict about that but guys the Empress when I saw Brahma yep that's what I said Tara's doing this to me all the time at the moment I think I know what that five of wands is. Let's clarify the ace of wands after I've finished dropping the cards. Serenity, that's the energy of the hermit. So some of you might have been going through a reflective phase and that's where the inspiration has come for whatever this is that you're trying to get off the ground or maybe some of you have gone through a period of deep healing from the ancestral line that we see here. Oh guys, the Empress, we can't make this up, you can't. Wow, double threes, you know, that is a very potent number. I've been getting so much 333 synchronicity in the last just a few weeks. I've always been an 1111 girl and... 333 has been coming for me. I wonder if it's been coming for you as well. And it, you know what? It, it can mean that the Ascended Masters are, are working through you and, uh, you know, giving you those updated uh, light codes as well, you know, to maybe release the soul patterns and contracts and past lives so you can get on with the work that you came here for. You may or may not believe that. You can just interpret that as you like, Leo. 
Let's clarify the Empress and Five of Wands. We've got, oh, the Four of Wands. For some of you, this will be in a relationship. For some of you, this will be in business. I'm going to read it both ways because there's both energies I feel here. The Eight of Swords over here as well. It's going to be important for you to break through your own conditioning this week. Okay, Leo, there is a strong energy of something that wants to be created through you at the moment. And for some of you, that could be an offer of passion that's come in and you're like, you know what, this could be the one. This could end up in, in commitment and, and, and children, if that's what we desire. There is a sense of that for some of you. I feel like if so, there's going to be a challenge maybe around um, values or that this person's going to be quite different from your normal type, that kind of thing. For others of you, this is a new direction in work or business. Again, I'm going to take the same approach in saying that it's something different. Maybe not the, the well-worn path. Maybe not that kind of, you know, traditional get a good job kind of scenario. That's what I'm feeling here because the Hierophant is the card of tradition and it also challenges you to go your own direction. Now, with the Eight of Swords and the Hermit here, I feel like some of you, you've been seeking this for a while. I mean, the, the hermit can be that maybe in the past, you know, you've had hurts around relationships or maybe tried to get something off the ground before and it didn't happen. And you've been really seeking those pieces of, you know, the wise and maybe doing the self-work, maybe having some spiritual awakenings, that type of thing. I feel like you've been seeking this path, but the path hadn't really presented itself to you until now. I mean, the Hermit card links to the star energy. That's what is burning in the, the Hermit's Lantern in the writer version of this card. And the idea is that the more you, you know, you seek, you reflect, you uh, seek your internal wisdom and, you know, connect with your own sense of higher self and spirituality, that star energy burns brighter. And it's when it starts burning brighter, when you kind of enter that process, that the path forward is revealed and the star is the energy of divine wish fulfillment. So there's a real sense here of this God of creation trying to align you with your divine wishes. For some of you, that's going to be an amazing career that is on passion and purpose for you that lights you up. And for others of you, that's going to be that beautiful sense of home and relationship and maybe a family. What's important to overcome, though, is the self-limiting beliefs of the Eight of Swords. This can be our own self-imposed prison, the holding yourself back. And generally that comes in the form of not believing, not believing we're capable, you know, feeling like we've been hard done by before and, you know, maybe oh, I can't do this, I'm not good enough, it'll never happen for me, that kind of energy. And we want to really squash that when it comes up because that can be the energy that holds us back. And when we're projecting that out in the world, you know, that's what comes back to us. So, you know, the reinforcement for those stories. So it's about releasing yourself, liberating yourself now, Leo. Absolutely, you need to let go, be unbound, let go of what happened to you in your childhood, you know, how your parents were, the injustices you think that you've suffered, I'm not saying that you haven't, but if we carry the charge of that through our life, it can really hold us back, so it's time for you to be unbound, and it's when you're unbound and you're starting to release the burdens of the past, that's when stuff like this happens, Ace of Wands. I mean, this is kind of coming in on the divine and it can be a passionate new offer. The thing is with an Ace, it's not, you know, guaranteed. It takes the inspired action to make it happen. And I feel with the Ace of Wands here, you're going to have that energy and enthusiasm to really seize the day and, and take the action to expand this. You're coming out of Hermit energy though, so you need to make sure that you don't go you know, back into the shell, back into that, in, into hibernation or, you know, introverted state. You really need to connect with this and seize the Ace of Wands. And that could mean if somebody's coming in for you, actually, like, hey, let's go on a date, let's, let's talk, maybe Skype, Zoom, Facebook date if we can't see each other in person. If it's a, a job coming in, it's like, okay, what's the next step? What can I do to make this happen? What can I be to make it happen? So current focus energies with the Hierophant and the Empress, yeah. I mean, double Empress, guys. <laughs> she's the biggest card of possibility in the tarot. So she's saying to you that anything is possible this week. And, you know, the Empress is the energy of what is it that you have been desiring to create, 
to manifest, to materialize in your life because she is the energy that births that into the physical realm and makes it happen for you. So it's about dreaming big. She really wants to make it happen. Now the Hierophant, for some of you, you know, this can stand for marriage or committed relationship. For some of you, that's what this is going to be. The Hierophant also, you know, asks us to challenge tradition. And I'm feeling that quite strongly in this message. So if you are trying to create something, just ensure that you're creating it from your own values and, you know, that's on purpose and in alignment with you, not from how you feel society wants you to be, how your, your family wants you to be to impress others. We want to do it for ourselves. You know, the two keys here, the key of the values of the past, but you're being asked to unlock your potential and go in your own way, march to the beat of your own drum now. Hierophant's number five, and we've got another five lurking in this reading, and that can be our sense of being conflicted, right? But five is also the number of change, so it says that maybe we need to do things differently now to, to release that inner conflict and to reach that next stage of potential. And the Hierophant's asking you to, to have faith and to assess what that change might be. So that's pretty cool. So in the near future outcome position, we've got the Empress again, the Five again, <laughs> and the Four of Wands. So similar energies that that Five of Wands here is saying, yeah, make sure that you are getting clear on what you really want to create. Make sure that you keep away from the naysayers that are going to say, oh, that's not going to work, or oh, don't go with that person, or whatever it is. Do what you want to do. This can be pettiness. It can be other people getting involved in your business, other people gossiping. Other people using their, their energy and power in unconstructive ways. So step back. Step back if there's anyone meddling in your business. It's not their business. So that's what I'm seeing here. It's like to release that, come back to the Empress energy. What is it that you want to create? You know, she's fertile and abundant and she wants to birth it into the realm for you. And what I really love about the Empress, she's number three. And we're ending this reading on the Four of Wands. Now, three is the number of creation. The manifestations, the desires, the birthing of the idea, and four is making it happen, solidifying, crystallizing, you know, laying the foundation for it and actually making it happen. So it says that whatever the Empress desires in the near future could really start crystallizing. This is also the card of commitment, can be marriage, happy home, and all that sort of thing. And together these cards can definitely be marriage and uh, fertility for some of you that are wanting that. Or you could put it in the business sense of like, okay, abundance, you know, going the distance, you know, really, really delivering uh, what you desire. And if we turn this around, you know, this is the 1111 card. It's the card of synchronicity and, you know, destiny. So I would definitely be paying attention to the number synchronicities definitely the threes and the ones this week and if you're getting that you know it's really spirit trying to get your attention and ask you to consider your decisions carefully and to be guided you often get it when you're getting closer to stepping onto that path it's beautiful energy guys it's something definitely trying to be created through you uh you know overcome the inner conflict don't listen to the naysayers tune into your own values and what you truly want and be unbound from the pressures of the past, from the family line, and go your own way. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave it there, and I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, and um, won't be everyone's story, and that's absolutely okay. If you're called to share, please do leave me a comment. I read each and every one, and I try to respond to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with the energies, and I'll be here same time, same place for another weekly message next week. 